notes or anything. I might have to adjust it. It's crooked. It's not that bad. Let me see. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough right there. Alright. Let me just turn it down. Brothers is on. Hey. Hey, Barack Athaya Hawa. Barack Athaya Hawa Shai. Barack Athaya Hawa. Barack Athaya Hawa. Barack Athaya Hawa Shai. All praises to Yahweh. All praises to Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh Shai. You know, double our side apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect out there, man. You know, we coming back, you know, with another video. You know, we doing a, uh, um, a tag team matchup, if you will, right now. You got the uh, brother from the B More camp, you know, the brother Taza Warrior, myself, Pashai from the DC camp, oh, wow. you know, and we just gonna come back, come at you right now with this raw and uncut truth, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shah, Hashem Rachakwadash, you know, and tell it blatant, man, because look, you know, uh, Apostle Tahar, he put out the decree, you know, you know, make your videos. You gotta do uh, three videos out throughout the week, all right? Um, um, we inevitably, you know, we always knew what you got to, you got to go out and we got to hit the streets. We got to, uh, hit the highways and the hedges. All right. Which those are, those are not to be downplayed. Okay. This video is not to uh, make it seem like those attributes of the truth are downplayed. Okay. But there's other aspects. There's other attributes in the truth or mainly one is spe specifically. Okay. One is sp specifically. All right. Well, there's a couple other things. The spirit just hit me. Mm -hmm. You know, well, one of them is uh, brother brotherly love. You know, charity. All right. Can we get that up? Baba Kusha, uh First Corinthians thirteen. All right. Charity, and then also two. You got fasting. And you got praying. All right. Because inevitably you can't you can't enhance the brothers. You can only enhance brothers to a certain extent to where you want to cleanse certain things. Cause you may see something in a brother that you need to, that you that you want to address, that you feel like you can help the brother with. Right. But some brothers got certain demons on them to be all the way real, that uh, they're basically strongholds. In order to break these strongholds, you have to strengthen your own self and break your own strongholds. And the best way to do that is through prayer and through fasting, man. Okay. Yahweh Shai said that, man. All right. I'm gonna get that scripture out when, whenever you got uh, got it. Bring um, it up, yo, and break it down, Bible Kashaw. Uh, I'm going to start at the first verse. 1 Corinthians 13 and uh, 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men, okay, which that's, you know, the different languages or, you know, a man that may, uh, you know, have power in the uh, way that he speak, you know. It says, and of angels and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Okay, it, you know, it... it you basically off key, you know, when it comes down to uh, you know, the faith. Okay, and the, the charity, you know, goes into the affection, okay? Um, it says, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. You know, and um uh, through the spirit, you know, me and the brother was uh, talking, you know, um, I was saying that, uh, you know, I perceive that, uh, you know, brothers, you know, they don't love you. How about some y'all shot? You know, when you when you sit down and you, you think about it, you know, you, you let's say you're dealing with a woman, you know, you it's, it's easy for you to sit up there and say, yo, I love you, you know, or, or your mother or even, a, you know, even a brother, you know. Because you might have a brother that you met cool with in the camp, you know? But, but and, and we had that, that example, you know, many times where a brother, you know, may have went off, you know, but didn't, you didn't, you know, you didn't tell that brother that he was going off, you know? And, and y'all by some y'all side requires that, you know? And that's um, in, in, in Ezekiel, you know? You're supposed to tell your, 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 your brethren when they go off, you know? Because you, you, you're not only saving 
his blood, you know, off your hands, but you're getting your blood, you know, uh, cleansed also. You know, so so at the end of the day, uh, brothers, you know, don't don't have that, you know, love towards your hop outside. That outside. That's supposed to always be in your head. You know, like what what you really into this this truth for, you know? Yeah, that's right. Um also too, you mentioned uh the charity. Now charity also too, you could it's it's twofold. It could deal with money, you know, you see a brother, you know, he's down and out. All right. You see a brother that's down and out, and then uh, uh you got a couple extra dollars in your hand, and you know you don't want to hit him off. You know, that that hey man, that's going off, man. All right. The scripture says what? Uh, actually, that in that same chapter, man, it says charity cover of a multitude of sins. Okay, it's a sacrifice, man. The Lord—that's what the Lord loves. The Lord—the Lord loves to see the charity aspect in this truth. Now, also charity as well can, is what is basically, you know, like the brother was going into. If a man's going off, and you see him going off, another form of charity is to tell him tell him about himself, man. You know. And, and doing it out of sincerity to see that brother get built up on another level. Because the scriptures say iron sharpened of iron. Now, if another man, he ain't iron, if he, if he is iron and he's dull, though, he can't sharpen you as well. All right? You want brothers around you that's going to be sharp, man, so you yourself can become sharper, man. All right? That's the main focus. That, hey, man, through the spirit, man, that's the, that's the reason why I be saying whatever I be saying to certain brothers, man. Because why? Cause look, man, you can't be a you can't be dull around us, man. You can't be dull in the camp, man. You and, and the camp is only as good as your weakest man. All right, you're only as strong as your weakest man. And the scriptures go into that as well, man. Okay. Matter of fact, can we get that real quick? Uh, what was that? First Corinthians, the twelfth chapter. Mm -hmm. Yup, you right there. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, First Corinthians, twelve, and um, uh, I'm gonna start at uh, twenty. Yeah. Uh, 20 it says but now are there are they many members yet but one body and the eye cannot say unto the hand i have no need of you nor again the head to the feet yeah you can operate you can do a whole lot of things with an eye you know but if you can't look at the hand and says you know and, and it's speaking of it say what keep going it says uh nor again the head head to the feet i have no need of you Nay, much more, those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. Yeah, more ab abundant honor, man. Because you see a man, yeah, you know, he may not be as versed in the scriptures. You know, he may not be the sharpest. He may not be able to remember the most scriptures. All right? But that man is very, char he's very charitable, all right? He's very charitable. Yeah. He plays his part. He plays his part to the best of his ability. Yeah. Now, the scripture says that what? That, that man is held in high high regard as well, all right? Why? Because he's a, he's a part of the body, man. The body has to function in unison, okay? If the body ain't functioning in unison, then the body's no good, man, all right? That's the basically the spiritual genetic makeup of, uh, of Yahweh Shai, if you will, man. All right, because it all represents a part of Yahweh Shai, okay? Because and also too, it's like a cancer, if you will, man. You know, if you have a cancer that's spread in the body, if you will, if you have a a, 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 a ailment that's in the body, you gotta purge it. Mm -hmm. You gotta get to it. Why? Because it can spread to the rest of the body, man. Man, you sitting there letting it uh, uh, um, uh, flurry, flourish, man. And then you have a scenario because me and the brother was talking about it, and it is what it is, man. Sometimes you come up with a video and it be a topic about a scenario that you went through with you and, the, and, and some brothers, you know? And you be, you, you be, and the spirit be hot on you, man. Yeah. But through the spirit, you have to have it to where you are addressing that brother as well and not just doing that video, you know? Because you bringing out that topic and it's hot, you know? Matter of fact, we got to get that. That's the spirit. Go we got to get that. Uh, this is uh, Matthew chapter 5, okay? Because this, hey man, it's spiritual man, this is all spiritual, it's all in due season as well, you know? It's all it's all for the likening of Yahweh Bachim Yahweh Shah, I gotta bring this out. This is uh, Matthew chapter 5, let me make sure, I, yep, divorce, yep, yep, retaliation, adultery. Matter of fact, speak for a second brother, because I, I gotta find exactly where it is, I thought it was right here. Yeah, I got this um, definition for um, uh, sincerity, okay, uh... 
it's uh uh the definition for sincerity from out of the Merriam Webster is the quality or state of being sincere, honesty of mind, freedom from uh hypocrisy. And you you know, you might have a brother, you know, who uh, might not be like well scripted, you know, like you know, the brother was going into, you know, but that brother may be, you know, extremely humble, you know? Yeah. And you sit up there, you you deal with that brother, you know? He, he listens to you, you know? Uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that brother uh, may be sincere. You know, that might be a man of the Lord. You can't just look at it, you know, brothers, uh, you know, no, a, a brother that, you know, he look, he got all the scriptures, you know, he putting up 50 videos a week. Hey, scoffers do that. Hell yeah. You know? You got scoffers that go out uh, and, uh, you know, uh, think that they doing work. Right, right. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's not about uh, you know the the works. Of course, that that's come with the program, you know. But we not we not saved by the works that we that we uh do, you know. Well, I will say this. Well, faith. The scripture says faith comes by works. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it, it, a part of the works is going to get you delivered. God. You know. But it's a, there's a multitude of works. It's not just one dimensional, if you will. Yeah. It ain't about looking good on for the camera. All right. Now let me read this real quick. This is Matthew chapter five, the verses twenty three. It says. I'm going to start at verse 20. Um, also, 2 is another one. He said, Raka. Okay, verse 20, I'm going to just start. It says, For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ye have heard that it was said by the, them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause, shall be in danger of the judgment. Whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, okay? Now, when you look at Raka, it means like um, basically um, um, pointless or, you know, he, he serves no he serves no no purpose, mm -hmm. all right? Now, I'm going to read it again. It says, but I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Because you're looking at him, oh, man, he don't know no scriptures. This, that, and the third, oh, he he don't do this right. He don't read on point and this, that, and the third. And you you constantly coming down on him, okay? You basically, you know, it's nothing wrong with coming down on him, but you looking at him like he doesn't play a part in the body, all right? Now, that that's what the, the Lord, this is red letter. This is what the Lord is saying, okay? You call another man pointless that's, that's actually serving the Lord the way the Lord got him serving him. And then also, too, that's in the scriptures, Romans, the 14th chapter, all right? Romans, the 14th chapter tells you that what? That man is not your servant. He's a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So, continuing on, it says, it says, uh, shall be in the danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Right? Because you basically called a man, uh, man of the Lord a fool. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? And you got to rebuke them demons, man. Because you may be more skilled than another brother. And then when, that, when then Satan jump in your mind, make you think, yo, oh, oh see, look. See, this dude ain't right, man. It's just down the third. Now, you do have other cases where more some men have more potential than others, okay? Don't get it twisted. Now, if a man has a lot of potential and he ain't fulfilling that potential, then guess what? Then you, It's okay for you to look at him like, yo, man, I don't know about this dude, man, all right? But then you have another brother that doesn't have, he doesn't have the same skill assets as another brother. That don't mean you just jump down. That don't mean you look at him like that. Certain brothers you can work with, man. Yeah. Certain brothers you just like, ah, oh, man, Psh. Don't look like this brother got any hope. They keep, keep it all the way real, man. You know, because this ain't our program, man. We could only play our part to the best of our ability. Right. Okay, real quick. Um, keep on going. Right. It says, therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remember, rememberest that thy brother ought against thee. Okay, leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First, be reconciled to thy brother. And then come and off, offer thy gift. Now the gift is this speech. You know the scripture says that what in um, what's the uh, Ecclesiastes the fifth chapter? He says when you come to serve thy Lord. Uh, no, 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 no. When you come before the uh, uh, the altar. No, can you get that real quick? Right there, Ecclesiastes five, Ecclesiastes five and one. Five and one. Yep. Um, Ecclesiastes five and one. It's through the spirit. I just turned right. Yep. There. Yep. <laughs> it say, uh, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of Yahweh from Yahshua, and be more ready to hear. Than to give the sacrifice of fools. Yeah, be more ready to hear than give the sacrifice of fools. Right? Why? Because, go ahead. It said, for they consider not that they do evil. Well, they're doing evil by what? We always bring that scripture out when somebody comes up 
and then and we out there teaching and someone is coming up speaking out of turn, they rocking the spirit. Why? Because they're giving it a sacrifice of fools. Okay? Now that shows you that what? When you speak in your words, it's basically a sacrifice. So when the Lord said what? What do you do at the altar? When, when he said you bring your gift to the altar, or off, off, off the altar, altar Salakia. When you bring your gift to the altar, right, right? Then we talk about what charity was. Okay, now when you bring your gift to the altar, it got to be on point, man. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't bring your gift to the altar, meaning what? Going out in the streets and teaching, going here and uh, uh, doing these videos, if you ain't got things right with your brothers, man. Yeah. You know? That's a, that's a, that's a, a major thing about this uh, truth. You know, it's a brotherhood, you know? This is, uh, you know, when we go out to reach the elect, you know, this is nation building that we're doing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it says, and go thy way, first be reconciled. What does the word reconciled mean? It means make back friends. Okay? And it says, and to thy brother, then come and give and offer thy gift. So if you got a quarrel with a brother, you know, and you know you're about to see him at camp, it's best not to, you know, start speaking at camp. And you got this quarrel with the brother, because that can stir up strife within the uh at the camp. Yeah. You know, you be like, you start, you 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 still thinking negative of a situation that you ain't get up off your chest, so to speak. You know, you out there, you bugging out, you and you rocking the spirit, man. All right, now the Lord is telling you what, you know, you it's best that you hold up, you know, brother. Before we start camp, let me pull you to the side real quick. I, you know, let me. Oh, yo, I, I'm not feeling this, that, and the third. What was going on, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. That's why the scripture says, "What? Let not the sin go down on thy wrath." Be ye angry and sin not, cause you gonna be you you gonna be angry, right? You gonna be upset, but the sin is when you just ignore it, man. The scripture says that. It says that in, uh, James, I believe it's the uh, 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 fourth chapter. Can you get that real quick? Uh, I think it's James four and seventeen, four in the last verse. All right, because you if you know the right thing to say and the right thing to do, that's evil unto you. It's a sin. All right, read it when you got it. Uh. Uh, James 4 and 17, therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. To him it is sin, man. And what is what is good? When you go into Matthew the 18th chapter, it talked about if you see you have a uh, quarrel with you and your brother, right? And you rebuked him and he heard you, he said, You have gained thy brother. Yeah. So that's clearly what the Lord is talking about right here in Matthew the fifth chapter. Okay, I'm gonna just finish it off. It says, uh, therefore. All right, I'm going to read verse 25. I'm sorry. Matthew 5 and 25. Agree with thine adversary quickly while thou art in the way with him, lest any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge and the judge deliver thee to the officer, right? And thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, thou shalt be by no means come out thence till thou hast paid the uttermost uh, farthing, farthing. Meaning what? Look, the Lord ain't going to help you out in your scenario if what? If you ain't did the right thing by your brother, man. Yeah. And that's the and that's the, the, the biggest element, man. Look, man, when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, Yahweh Shah knew he had a... a Yahweh Shah knew all things. Yeah. Yahweh Shah wasn't to, the, to himself in the cut. I'm going to just chill by myself. I'm going to just wait for my time to be delivered to the Romans. And that's that. No, he was constantly, constantly... With the with the disciples yeah. breaking bread with them, showing them, look, you you doing this right? No, you need to do this next time. He was constantly with them and supping with them, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's the that's the joy of the Lord, man. That's the that's what the heavenly Father wants to see. The heavenly Father loves men in unison. Yeah. Got it? Huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, when you when you turn off the, the the camera, you know, what type of man are you, man? You know, when when when. When brothers are doing behind, you know, closed doors, you know, you come to find out it, it was, was done in the dark, be brought to the light, man, that, you know, guys end up being niggas, you yep. know, and it, and it always shows that, you know, the Lord uh, kick, a, kick somebody out, you know, we're coming up upon the, the, the time of the Passover too, man, Con. you know, yep. so, so you know, what this is the year of prophecy, so, you know, people are going, going to get destroyed, man, you know, I got a scripture, yep. um, First John... Four and uh, seven, it says beloved, right? Which you know the word beloved goes into the word precious, man. Con. You know it says uh, which is which is, which is the brothers. Yeah, the brothers are precious, man. You know you got a gem, you got a stone. Yeah, right. You you talking about a, another man of the Lord? The scripture says what? That uh, nothing is to be uh, wisdom is not the more to be desired than than rubies, yeah. than precious stones. So the the brothers are more precious than these stones. 
Okay, keep going. It says, uh, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And everyone that loves is born of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So, you know, going into, uh, that's John the 10th chapter, you know, when you come into this truth, you have to become a newborn babe, man. You know, you have to, you have to change your ways. You could have been a nigga in the world, you know, coming into this truth. This is riches, you know, this is, this is more precious than anything that, you know, you could, you can imagine, man. And, and, and let me say this real quick, because certain brothers uh, uh, possess certain riches that you don't have. Yeah. So you can think that you have a certain amount of riches. Then you have another brother that you may be shunning, you brushing them off. But he may have some riches for you too. Yeah. You know? Yep. Um, the scriptures say riches are not calmly for a nigga. That's right. You know? Um, it says, uh, and everyone that loves is born of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and knows Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. He that loves not knows not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is love. That's right. That's right, and, that, and that's what uh, Yahweh Shai was talking about in Matthew the fifteenth chapter. When he says, "Love thy neighbor as thyself," that's what he was. That's what he was talking about. He was talking about the love of the brotherhood. Yeah. All right, and not the love for the rest of the world, like the Christian church speaks and teaches. Yeah. That, that's bugged out, man. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to love a nigga that's ready to break into my house. Yeah. I'm supposed to love that nigga. Right. All right. <laughs> that's bugged out, man. Yeah. You know the scriptures say, "Know whom thou doest good to," man. Yeah. You, 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 the good, the works of the Lord, you know, the, the works, the good works of the Lord is not for everybody, man. Right. That's why, why you think when Yahweh Shah was speaking on the scene, it, it said that he pulled the disciples privately and explained the parables that he was saying pu in public, man, in the open. Okay? I got yeah. something for you. If I can say this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because what are the reasons why we, we do the videos or go out to, 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 to uh, on camp? You know, which the brother uh, made the point in the beginning, you know, which that's not something that's supposed to be downplayed. You know, we go out there, you know, we, we trying to reach the elect. We're, we're doing these videos is reaching the elect, you know. And then the, the outside of the, 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 the uh, you know, the cameras and the videos and stuff, you got to look at the brothers that you're dealing with, you know, as if they are of the elect. You know, and when we do things, we're supposed to be looking at, you know, we're watchmen. Yeah, you got to you gotta acknowledge that the angels are watching. Yeah, more than anything. Good point. Yeah, that's why that's why I got the scripture for you. This is uh Philippians chapter two verse twelve. Be wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only. Yeah, the, the presence is what when you brothers is on the like what we doing now on the videos. Every you got brothers in the, in the, in the, uh, uh, uh chat room. You know you got a lot of eyes looking. So that's when Jake want to get right. You know, well, let me get right. You know. Yeah. You know. You know, just like well, you got like top officials and you got different uh, uh brothers in different camps. That hold a certain uh, um, um, title, if you will, and then they all they their presence is felt, right? So when that brother comes around, they go, oh, "Let me do the right thing. Let me do the right thing." Okay, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, okay. But the scripture says what? Uh, such a uh, such a man fear the eyes of men only, not knowing that the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. That's why I put I put the wrong scripture. All right, all right, because I wrote down the scripture. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yep, that's 23 and 19. Let me read this. Let me finish this real quick. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have also always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. See, that's what Paul said. And we like to quote the scripture a lot. Work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. How do you work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling? Knowing that the angels of Yahweh Hashem Shai is watching. I did a video a while back talking about how you're supposed to be a uh, man pleases unto the angels, man. All right, you got you got men please you got uh, uh, men that are uh, 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 that show lip service, if yeah. you will, to certain men. All right, you want to have lips. I want to have lip service. My lip service is for the angels of the Lord, man. Because when your name get pulled up to the Most High, because that's who the angels are. The angels are the messengers of Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Shai, and they bring it up to Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai brings it up to the Father, and then the judgment is laid down, man. All right, so you want to you want to be known, or you want to have a good report with the angels, man. Yeah. To hell with the, you know, not you can't say to hell. You know, I'm not gonna say, not gonna totally take that away to having a good report with the brothers, because you are justified by that too, because you got brothers that are men of the Lord. So you want to have good report with those angels as well. Okay, it says work out your own uh, salvation with fear and with trembling, for it is good. For sorry, the, for it is the Most High which 
worketh in you both to will and to, to do of his good pleasure. See? And that's the point right there, man. Because when, when you do things... Oh, let's get that. Let me get that real quick. Matter of fact, I'm right here. This is Matthew chapter 6, right? Matthew chapter 6. Start from the top. Take heed, take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. And that's the whole point of this video right here. You want to be rewarded by your Hawabashim Yahushua before you get rewarded from a brother. Yeah. All right, but sometimes, hey, you are getting rewarded by Yahweh Bashim Yahshah from a brother, yeah, you know? Through a brother, right? through a brother man. All right, yeah. and you'll know it in the spirit. Continuing on, it says, Therefore, when thou doest the, thine alms, the alms goes into the charity, the things that are done behind closed doors, right? Do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you that they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Right? Because you got brothers that you ain't cool with necessarily. Mm -hmm. But then you got brothers that you mad cool with that you show, you know, you got you you favor more, man. You know, so you don't want to be look, look look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. See, I don't fuck with you like that, but I yeah. fuck with him like that, so look what I'm doing. You know? Man, but you hey man, I'm be real, man. You got Satan, Satan to try to jump in your head and make you do shit like that, man. Yeah. That's why we do lessons like this so you can rebuke the tempter, if you will, man. Yeah. All right, rebuke Satan, man. Rebu rebuke the adversary, man. Because he want the, the 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 devil wants you to come up against your brothers before anything else, man. All right. The scripture says, if any one of you offended these little ones, it's better that you hang a millstone around your neck. So that's what Satan wants you to do. Satan wants you to wrap that millstone around your neck. Okay. Real quick, let me finish this. It says, uh. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand nor thy right hand doeth. Thine alms may be in secret, and thy father will see if in secret him, himself shall reward thee openly, man. And that's what we striving for, man. We will strive to be open rewardedly, but, but see certain things. Like I always like, I'll put it like this, man. You know, I always give credit to the guy. Like, for instance, you always, like if you think of the Utah Jazz back in the 90s, everybody know about Carl Malone. But, you know, the second man was really John Stockton. But yeah. John, Stock John Stockton was the distributor. Without Carl Malone, I mean, without John Stockton, Carl Malone wouldn't be Carl Malone, man. Yeah. Keep it all the way real. Why? Be but he was a distributor. He was a guy that would do, do more sacrificing, if you will. L let me not look as good to the make the team win. And that's how you got to uh, 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 approach this thing, man. Have that Robert Ory uh, uh, mentality, if you will, you know, for brothers that like basketball. Robert Ori, he got six rings because he know how to play his fucking part. Yeah. You know? If I can say this, too, because uh, with, with uh, Robert Ori, or, you know, I'm going to use the John Stockton or the, or the greats, you know, um, um, uh, Michael, you know, Kobe, you know? Uh, when you look at them, you know, they don't just, you know, uh, uh, of course they, they go in on uh, practice, they go in on the game, you know? But... They also put that extra time in, you know, outside of, of practice, you know? <laughs> it's like a boxer, right. you know? Right. When, 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 uh, like, if you look at these boxing movies, you know, when, uh, when the trainer is out the gym, they still working on their technique, you know, like that movie uh, Southpaw, man. You know, he was still working on his technique, man. He was, he was doing his thing, man. You know, but I got a scripture, um, Romans 10 and uh, 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel, so like it. my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel, right, is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh by Shem outside, but not according to knowledge. Now, we know, <laughs> you know, for the most part, we sit up here, you can equate these to these uh, bugged out Christians, you know, who they, which they have a zeal. You got you got uh what's his name uh uh G man government man who you know he 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 got he, he walk around with I love Jesus hats and you know and even even though we know that this guy's bucked out he's not in the truth you know he's showing more sincerity to to uh his demon his demon you know than, than guys who who know the truth showing sincerity to towards y'all by some y'all saw man you know to the brothers you know yep. Yep, yeah, yeah. I got, I, real quick, I got a uh, scripture off the comment board. This is uh, GMS Tampa Bay, it's Luke 6 and 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, 
and running over shall men give into your bosom. Right now, this is uh, the main point, though. I, I know the brother's trying to hear that. It is a give, and it shall be given unto you. You know, and that's that's the point, man. You know, that that you got to think about your spiritual reward. That's why when you keep reading in Matthew the sixth chapter, he said, "Store up your treasures up in heaven, where moth and rust do not corrupt." All right, why? Because you know if, that's where th that's where we that's our investment plan. Our investment plan is in the heavens, man. If you will. You know, yeah. our credit that we're trying to build is in the heavens. Yeah. You know, it's, it, you know, Jake, out here, you know, we trying to build credit and shit. You be trying to build credit <laughs> so you could do whatever you make moves in the society, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to make moves in the kingdom. Yeah. So I'm going to build up my credit for the kingdom, man. Yeah. You know, that's what that, you got to think like that. That's how the most high thinks, man. Yeah. Like this whole banking system and all that, it all comes from the most high, man. The most high created money. You know, the most high created credit and all that, man. Yeah. You know, a welfare system, man. Cause you, so you can always have, man. You know, it's so uh, you know, people in the world, which karma it goes back into, you know, uh, Elamite demon, an Elamite deity. You know, but you know the concept of karma, if you will, which is likened unto basically a uh, 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 spiritual, yeah, retribution through the mm -hmm. spirit, man. Okay, you gotta you gotta think like that, man. You know that that's a spiritual man. Okay, if you're thinking carnally and you're just thinking for the moment and you're just thinking for now and who sees what now, then you ain't you ain't operating in the spirit. This thing is bigger than just you. Okay? Yeah. This thing is bigger than just uh, uh, whoever you are. You know, this thing is, is, is a lot broader, man. You know, and I say this in the spirit, man. Now, we was talking about it. Hey, man, there is no secret. You know, we was talking about how well, Apostle Ricard was talking about it. How he was talking about yesterday with how why he addressed the whole thing with the biker jacket. Mm -hmm. He said, "Man, I ain't do that for." Uh, he said, "He said, you know, he said pretty, pretty much the hell with uh, 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 the scoffers and all that." Yeah. You know, he said he did it for the, the the sincere brothers, man. You know, now basically why? Because your conduct as well goes a long way, especially if you're a. a, 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 a if you're a figure, if you're a pillar in this truth, man, if brothers look up to you, and it don't got to be a whole gang of brothers that's from the East Coast to the West Coast, you got two brothers in your camp that, that look up to you, man, yep. and you got to make sure what? That your conduct is on point. That's why the scripture says that, in, that's 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, man. It says, uh, examine thyself, except you be reprobates, man. You can't show yourself a reprobate. So that means your conduct got to be on point, man. Yeah. Your conduct is, your, really, your conduct is over. Uh, uh, knowing the scriptures, why? Because the only way you want the Lord going to suck with you if your conduct is on point. Yeah, and we were just going over that uh, earlier. We got it easier now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Did back in the uh, ancient days, man. Yeah, you know, like you were saying, like you know, they had to actually go, on, you know, yeah. journeys. Yes, yeah, yeah. just to see brothers. Yeah, the scripture said they traveled a savage day journey. Yeah, you know, which is basically a whole week just to go see some brothers, man. And let me say this too, while we at it, man. You know, the brother, I was talking to uh, one of the brothers that's out there, you know, that's out there by himself doing the work. And the brother hit me up, man. You know, he's, basically he could tell that other brothers don't appreciate the brotherhood, man. Yeah. You know why? Because you got brothers, well, look, it's a gang of us, man. We in the DMV, man. D.C., Maryland, Virginia. All right? That's what the DMV stands for on my page, by the way. D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Okay? We in that area. You got two camps over. Matter of fact, you really got four camps within these three you got D.C., Baltimore, well, I'm talking about GMS, because you got other camps that are out there, but they're not under the banner of GMS, really, yeah. all right? So you got the Baltimore camp, you got the D.C. camp, you got two Virginia camps, all within a, I say like a 50, 60-mile radius, man, all right? So to speak, I, I'm, I'm guessing, all right? It's probably more than that. I say a 100-mile radius going all the way down to Richmond, and you got brothers in Norfolk. Man, it's... it's you got other brothers in certain places just for them to get the campus two, three hours. Yeah. But you got brothers brothers in the area that live around the corner from you. And you don't hit them up or whatever the case is. Or you don't, you know, you don't check in on them. You ain't breaking bread with them, man. That's off, man. That shit is off, man. When you got a brother that's out in the middle of West Bubblefuck by himself wishing he had brothers with him, man. All right. If you got and brothers don't take that in consideration, man. You you yeah. I, I don't know if your spirit really right, man. Keep it all the way real, man. You should be breaking your neck to get with brothers, man. By any means necessary, man. All right, brothers. And we always talk about it. Uh, if it's a big booty bitch, 
right? And she hits your phone up, right? Brothers be on, <laughs> you know? You got Jake be on back page and shit. You see a bitch, oh, damn, she, this bitch thick as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? She And you hit her up, you talking to her, yada, yada, yada. And she wants you to come through. And she laid it out flat for you. Look, this is how we want to do it, yada, yada, yada. But then all of a sudden, you, you, you uh, the scripture say a man to travel sea and land for, for a woman in, in, in first Ezra, the fourth chapter. You know? He'll wrestle a bear, a lion, oh, just, yeah, for, yeah, just yeah. for a woman, man. <laughs> but when it comes to the brotherhood, man, yo, I don't know, man. Maybe, uh, maybe later. Yo, what about tomorrow, though? You know? Fuck all that, man. You know, these are the last days. You don't know the last day you're going to see a brother. And it's, and it's like, you know, through the spirit, man, brothers that ever had a loved one that, that died or whatever the case is, you know, and maybe you didn't speak to that loved one as much, you know? And you you like, damn, now that they're going, like, damn, I wish I could call their phone, man. You hear that shit all the time. I know somebody right now, they said they not, they don't delete. They are, it really, it's, it's a woman. She said she don't delete her father's phone, out, a number out phone. Mm -hmm. She's like, damn, I wish I could call him. She, she... She she she's yearning for the uh, things that she didn't appreciate back then. Now you brothers, if you believe in this word, right, right, you believe that all hell gonna break loose one day, right? You believe that one day we're gonna be quarantined off. The scripture says that what a man shall desire to go into city and should not be able. You got brothers in other cities that you that you not taking advantage of going to see. And then what? What you think is gonna happen when all hell break loose? You're like, damn man, I wish I could see that brother right now, man. I wonder how he's doing right now, man. I wish I could have said this to that brother. You know? Hey, but you, you gotta take these things in consideration, man. Hey, hey brother, you know the spirit getting on me. I'm starting yeah. to feel how you feel, man. Maybe some brothers don't give a they really like they only just care about their fucking selves, man. You know, yeah. they just selfish, man. And that's not what this truth is about, man. First of all, the most high sends the prophets out in twos, man. The scripture said two is better than one. Okay, you got it out. Uh, this is uh, uh, St. John 13 and uh, 34. It says, uh, A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you. You know, and, and uh, <laughs> yeah, how was Son laid down his life? You know, for, yeah, for the. Well, 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 yeah, that's a good point. That's a great point. Salaki, brother, that's a great point. Because the scripture says, Greater love hath no man that he lay his life down for his friend. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm supposed to believe that you're going to lay your light down for me, right? If you can't come check me every once in a while? Yeah. If I, if I got to pull your fucking... If I got to strangle you to do a video with me, right? If I got to drag you to do a fucking video, I can, how, how do I expect you to lay your light down for me? And in that day, that's all the fuck all I went around me. Somebody going to lay... These women, these women... That's why we... Man, that's another thing, man. You know? These women out here, they ain't going to lay their light down for you, man. They're going to take the chip in the heartbeat. But yet you got men that, that are siding with these broads or, or ready to, they, they, they all up under their woman. But when it comes to the brotherhood, they, they they distant, man. Everything is balanced. Don't get it twisted. If you got a woman and she's pleased to dwell with you, then you got to give her your due benevolence. That's correct. Okay? But guess what? You got to do your due benevolence for this word as well, man. Yep. You got to travel sea and land for this for this brotherhood, man. Yep. All right? Um, Speaking of that, uh, this is uh, Hebrews uh, 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, which is talking about Yahweh Shem Yahweh It says, for he that cometh to Yahweh Shem Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You know, when you go into the scriptures, man, if you pick up this Bible, if you pick up this, this word, you know that you are Israelite, especially if you come into the camp, Great Millstone, you gotta count the cost, man. You gotta know what you win this thing for. You know? When 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 you when you pick up this Bible, you gotta understand that, you know, all the miracles that Yahweh about Shimia outside and sold and, and wrote a four times, that's written for our learning, man. You know? <laughs> I know brother, brothers always bring it out. You know, in Romans uh yeah, 15 and 4. Yeah, it's different angles though. You yeah. know? It's different angles. Gone. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. You know, you, woman, you know, which, you know, the scriptures is, is our woman. We supposed to, you know, get into this. Yeah, be ravished, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be thou ravished with her love, yep. But uh, guys are, you know, want to get into uh, playing a video game or watching some sports event, you know? Some bullshit that's in the world, man. When it comes down to this truth, you're supposed to be on fire, man. You know? The, the, that's what the Lord requires, man. You know, and I did a video 
uh, basically how, you know, we all, when we first came into this truth, we, we, we all basically took the spirit of the devolved the Nazarene, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause the, yeah, the word, well, your na yeah, yeah, Nazarite. Yep. Uh, Nazayar in the Hebrew, the word Nazayar in the Hebrew means devout or devoted. And basically you took a vow to serve the Lord for the rest of your life. Yeah. That's what that, yeah. Cause that's, cause yep, yep, yep. Nazayar in the Hebrew, you yeah. know, I got a scripture for you. This is uh Sirach chapter six. I'm going to start at verse 33. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding, right? And well, when you love something, well, you all up into it, man. You know, you de you devoted your time and your effort and your energy into that thing. And then the Lord said, what? You're going to receive understanding. Why? Because the Lord, Yahweh Shem is going to suck with you. He's going to feed you, right? It says, it says, and if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Meaning you got to become a servant unto the words of the Lord, man. Point blank, period. Okay, it says, stand in the multitude of elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Right, so that's a part of watching the videos, you know, because when you're not, when we're not at camp and we're not uh, 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 doing videos, you're supposed to be watching videos, man. Yeah. You know? So yep. continuing on, which is a part of studying, man. Yep. All right? It said, the scripture says, blessed is he who readeth. Now, the word readeth there, and it, it actually is, uh, it's a Greek word. I forget what it is. It actually means to understand. Okay, so it's blessed is do you you get blessings when you get add understanding unto yourself. Okay, it's a defense. It says, "Be willing to hear every godly discourse, and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times unto him." Yeah, now, that's the, that's, who, that's the the uh, having a brother that's that's a share for your how about some y'all side. You want to you know you want to get close to that brother. You know, you, you know that this brother might check you, you know, <laughs> when you go off, you want, you want, I want to be around the brothers that, you know, I'd be like, oh, sh oh, shoot, you know, I gotta, I gotta be on my P's and Q's, man. You know, walking on eggshells, basically, you know? Yeah, you're fucking right, man. I say this from experience, man. That's how the, that's how the main camp is, man. <laughs> you coming up as a young man in the main camp, that's how it is, man. And <laughs> you're supposed to be like that, because that's how, it keep everybody in order, man. Keep everybody in check, all right? Real quick, I'm going to continue on. It says, uh, it says, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee B times unto him. And now B times means early, man. Yeah, I see the brother Anwar Kabash. He, he understands. All right. It, it says, get thee early unto him, man. Don't waste no time, man. You know how Jake say, you know, oh, we about to do that oh, or, or early, early. That's what the scriptures are saying, man. Get with them brothers of understanding. Get them, get to them early, man. All right. Don't waste no time, man, because that, that opportunity, the scriptures say, time and chance happen to every man, man. Okay? You have, you have, you have to get there. Yeah, I thought. That's right. That's right. I thought. That means now, man. Okay? The, brother, the elder brother Monagon, man, the, the captain of, the, of the, the D.C. camp. All right? GMS Army 144. It says, uh, and, if, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get the I thought unto him. Okay? And let thy foot where the steps of his door, man. He's supposed to be, you're supposed to be getting on his nerves. Like, all right, brother, you know, not today. I, you know, yeah. man, I'm, you hit him up, you know. I hit you up, brother. Not not today. I'm going to do this, that, and the third. Yeah. But I appreciate the call, brother. You know, we, we've been through that, right? Plenty of times, yeah. yo. I you hit you up, you hit me up. Like, nah, not today, brother. I appreciate the call. Maybe next time, brother. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next week. Whatever the case is. Whatever's convenient. Okay? A little more. It says, uh, and let thy foot weigh out the steps of, the, of his door. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually, continuously in his commandments. What's the top commandments? You know, love the most high with all thy mind, body, soul, right? And then uh, 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 love thy neighbor as you love thyself. And then Yahweh Shai said, hang these commandments over all the law. Mm -hmm. So you should be constantly meditating on that, man. Especially if you're man, you got rank, you got, uh, you got pull in the camp. You got men up under you. You supposed to be orchestrating things, man. Why? Because you got you got men's souls uh, 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 that you watch over, man. The scripture says that in uh, uh, Proverbs, I believe, it's ten and twenty three. It says, "Be thou uh, diligent to know the state of thy flock." All right. The state when the scripture when you when you read it, when you go into the Hebrew, the state of thy flock. The word "state" there is "lob," which means his heart. You got to know the mind of your flock. Yeah. Is the brother doing good? Is he is he down in his spirit? Does he need money? Does he have a job? All right? Is he beefing with his woman? You know, is he catching hell? Is he up in the spirit? Is he making videos? 
All right? There's a lot that comes with this truth besides, like the brother said, because this was his brother's idea to do this, this topic. You know? There's a lot that comes with this truth, man. All right? Let yeah. me finish this off. It says, He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. Man, that's what the purpose of this truth is, man. You know? Whatever. The scripture says what? And the Yahweh Shah said, Whatever you shall ask for in my name, you know, I, I, that he's going to give unto you, man. Why? That, first, you got to show yourself faithful, man. Because like the brother quoted the scripture, riches are not comely unto a niggard. If you show yourself that you're a niggard, that you're selfish, you know, you all to yourself, the Lord ain't going to give you no, under, no true understanding, man. All right? No. Especially if you want to get it for your own self gain. Because, like you, you know, you got guys out there that be around brothers and stuff like that, but they heaping unto themselves their own disciples. Basically, they're sowing discord amongst the brethren, man. Okay? Uh, and another... Uh point which we you know we could go through that too of um you know uh the the, the relationship of uh uh king david and uh jonathan oh yeah Twa, you know? Twa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's beautiful, uh, if i could get this yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. matthew uh 5 and uh, 13 it says you are the salt of the earth right which you know we supposed to have that wisdom you know how 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 we supposed to walk you know when this when the cameras are all you know, d dwelling with brothers, you know, how we can please your by some y'all saw, you know, because at the end of the day, right, when, when it's all said and done, right, it's all about your by some y'all saw, you know, your by some y'all saw getting his glory. That's right. You know, and and when you, 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 your by some y'all saw get his glory, then in the kingdom, we're going to get ours, you know. Now, you got some, some, some guys who are in this truth. That just want the reward, you know, to, to think that, oh, in the kingdom, I'm just going to have my thousand women. I'm going to chill, you know? That ain't how it's going to go, man. We're going we're gonna to still be serving y'all by some y'all side in the kingdom, man, you know? This ain't no we just come in and we just, you know, looking for a reward or, or we just doing up videos just because brothers, you know, it's a requirement. Yeah. You know? This, this, is, this is real life, man. You got, when you, when you do this, when you do these videos, you know? Like, you can look at, we can look at certain videos, like, and you said it yourself. Like, you can just look at that brother and just tell he believe in this, this word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can just look at that. You can just see that that brother believe, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? You can just see the sincerity oozing off that brother, man. Well, the brother's actually in the comment yeah. board, man. Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> and brother Kazak, yeah, I was trying to come back. God. You know, I just believe that the brother got mad faith, man. You can tell by the way he's speaking the truth, man. God. You know, I feed off that, man. Straight up, yo. You know? That's the spirit. That's the spirit. I, let me bring this out real quick. Uh, the brother Karata Zaba, you know? The head brother of the uh, uh, Be More camp. It's in 1 John 4 and 20. If a man say, I love the Most High, and hateth his brother, he's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love the Most High, whom he hath not seen, man? You know? And, and it's just that's just what it is, man. You can't love... The, the most high. You can't see the most high, man. We're in these carnal uh, uh, these carnal bodies, man. We A lot of times we get caught up in what we see, man. So if you can't have admiration for a brother that's right in front of you, that's doing the work of the Lord that you mm -hmm. say that you worship, how in the world can you say that you love or you have admiration, right, for, for the most high whom you can't see, man? Yep. It makes no damn sense. Uh, the brother Karat Zabah, he put another scripture up, Proverbs 4 and 6. Forsake her not, talking about wisdom, and she shall preserve thee. Okay? What is a preservation, man? He's going to keep you. Okay? Well, and it says it right here. Love her, and she shall keep thee, man. Right? Because we're storing up our treasures. The scripture says money answers all things. That money is a defense. Now, what money are we looking for? We, that knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So the more we dig into that, you know, the better we won't be off. The scripture says what? Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our times. Mm -hmm. Right? And the strength. Right? So... How do you increase more and more knowledge, wisdom, understanding? By being amongst the Akim. With two or three gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. Yeah. There's a power in the assembly of the brethren, man. Okay? You going to... That's... Yeah, how is Shah going to be supping, man? All right? I think, it's, oh, I think one more I think I think I wanted to bring out. You got more? Uh... Okay, okay. Well, then no, no, that, that was it. That was it. All right, come on. Yep. I'm going to continue on this one. Yep. Uh, Matthew uh, 5 and 13, it says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its 
savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thence for good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot. Yeah, that's heavy that you bring under, that under out. Under foot of men. Under foot of men, that's right. That's heavy that you bring you out, that that you bring that out, because we were just talking about that yesterday as well. That salt is a, uh, is known for preservation. You know, and I just read about the scripture uh, that where wisdom is going to preserve you. Okay, can you read that one more time? It I says, uh, ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savior, Wherewith shall it be salted? Yeah, yeah. Meaning what? Because our salt really is uh, is Yahweh, is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And having that trust and that faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because that's what's going to preserve us. Now, if you lose that trust and that faith along and with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to lose that preservation. Yeah. The Lord ain't going to cover you in the last days. Yeah. You know? Hey, that's one of the reasons why, uh, you know, I, I love the fact that, you know, it was brought out. You know, the Ba'a Shemra Kodas. Oh, hells yeah. <laughs> you know, in the Holy Spirit. Now, you got some guys that, you know, that ain't really serious about this. You know, they just tagging along. And then next thing you know, that get added on to, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, Ba'a Shemra Kodas, which is the Holy Spirit, you know. And guys, you know, they be like, oh, man, it's always something that's added. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. always something new, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You <laughs> not wanting to grow. Yeah. You know, and that's yep. a simple thing. You get kicked out, the, you know, the truth for that, man. Yeah, yeah, something basic. Because so, yeah. one thing leads to another. The scripture says a little leaven, leaven if the whole lump. <laughs> yeah. So there's going to be different things out there that's a stumbling block unto you, man. Yeah. That's, that is, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's stumbling, a stumbling block to people, man. People. Yeah. Say, oh, why I got to say all this in the salute? Why I got to make three videos? You know? Yeah. I mean, which you don't, you know, we don't get over righteous with it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's a good thing to, to to be in the Holy Spirit, man. That's the best thing, man. Oh yeah, oh, you yeah. know, the Spirit of Truth, because the Spirit, because that that's that's where your boldness comes from, man. The Holy Spirit. Yeah, you know, it, it says you are the light of the world, right? And you brought out a scripture about you know we supposed to be given. What do we we got the light? We supposed to give this light, man. Yep. You know. We supposed to sign that light on the, on the darkness of this world, man. That's right. You know this 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 world, you know, back if this 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 ain't our kingdom. First off, if it was our kingdom, it'd be a lot of bloodshed. That's right. You know, a lot of you know a lot of you know faggots would be destroyed. You know, a lot of people would be dead, man. If this was our kingdom, but what we do, we bringing out the word, we bringing out the truth. That's how this kingdom is being taken down. You know, it says uh, a light a city. Which is, you know, we're, we're, you know, a city is a people before it's a place. Yeah. Okay. It says that it's set on a hill, on a hill, cannot be, be hid. Right. And when we go into, you know, the mountains, the hills, it's a government, man. Yeah. You know? And it's talking about the elect. That city yeah. right there is talking about the elect. When, 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 uh, the, when we talk about the, the, the prophecy, right? One of the prophecies that's, that's going to come is New Jerusalem, you know, coming out of them chariots, man. There ain't gonna be niggas coming down from the chariots, man. You know? They're gonna be in order. These are these are the men, you know, in, in Peter where it said, these are the men that was found without spot and are blameless, man. Yeah. You know? The ones that 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 got this truth, this precious truth, you know, that the Lord promised this the 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 the, the, the kingdom of heaven to, you know, when you go when you go into the word promise, that means guarantee, man, that this is this is bound to happen, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, we in them times, man. Come. You know, um, so New Jerusalem, when it comes down, you know, we're going to be established, establishing the, the, the saints are going to take the kingdom, man. Yeah, that's right. I got a little bit more. Yep, yep. It says, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, right? Which that's, you know, put, do your videos, you know, link up with brothers, right? Uh, uh, if a brother going through stuff, you, you, you tell the brother, you talk to the brother, you know, you, if you bury each other's burdens. It says, but on a candlestick and giveth light unto all that are in the house. But this is a house, right? And then it says, let your light shine so, I mean, so shine before men that they may glorify your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. That's right. That's some jewels you drop in, 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 in the private, man. And in, in, um, in the secret chambers, if you will. You know, like, you know, like... Uh, 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 you know, outside of the videos, man. God. You know, a lot of times, what? A hey, brother's going to test, you know, and I highly recommend this. I highly recommend that to the best of your ability, brothers should be linking up right after camp, man. 
Because why? Because the, the, the spirit is a flame. It's a fire. You know, we ain't going to be out there all day, all night. Yeah. You know, but after camp, we, yo, after camp, yo, brother's supposed to be linking up. Why? Because the, the, the flame is still hot. You know, so what do you do? You add more flame to the fire, man. All right? So a lot of things be coming out. You be like, damn, I can't wait for to start camp. Or what'll happen? Well, turn the video, turn the camera on and make a make it do a sit down right after camp. All right? Why? Because the flame is hot, man. You know? Let me read this real quick. This is a rock chapter 25 and 1. And three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before the most high and men. The unity of brethren and the love of neighbors. A man and a wife that agree together. Right. And that's what beautified by the Heavenly Father, man. The Most High loves brothers in unity, man. Brothers that are, and neighbors and like mind, man. All right. That's, that's what it's all about, man. The most, that's what's pleasing unto the Most High. What, that's when the Most High is going to loose, loosen the four winds uh, 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 on the earth, man. When the elect is in, all in one mind. Yeah. Because you got a, some of the elect that ain't out in one, they ain't in one mind right now. Right. They're going astray. But once that once that 144 man is sealed, and he gets on page, he gets on board, it's all, it's all she wrote, baby. You know, you see, it's going down right now, man. All right, Trump talking about going into uh Iran. Yep. Come on, man. You should be man. It's like it's 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 it's, it's like if you see some one of your loved ones on a deathbed. Well, you gonna do your best. Oh, I gotta go see him. I gotta go see him. He's about to die. I, I, I ain't gonna see him no time soon. No, I ain't gonna ain't gonna be with us no more. So as you see the day approaching, America uh, going down, you should be trying to get with the brothers, man. It ain't hard, man. That's what it ain't rocket science, man. That's what the scripture says. You see the day approaching. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. You know? Yep, yep, yep. Seek ye the Lord ten times more. You know? That's right. Seek ye the Lord, Lord ten times more, man. You know? You see the day approaching. What man or man ought you to be in all holy conversation, man. Meaning what? The conduct. The top conduct is getting with the brethren, man. Man, I don't care if you just did to pour the drink for the brothers, man. You know, yeah. you may not say much. You just sitting there listening and you making sure brothers is good, man. You you went there, you cooked for the brothers. You made sure brothers is fed. Bro, brothers ain't hungry, man. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. honorable to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's the highest honor, man. Yahweh Shai said that. He said the, the, the greatest among you is going to be a he, he's a servant, man. Yeah. Your brothers should be breaking each other. Nah, no, I got you, brother. I got you. Move out the way. I got him, brother. I got him. You know, you should be breaking each other's neck just to, to try to serve a brother, man. Yeah. You know? And another thing, I got to say this. Because, like, let's say, you know, you might be going through some stuff, you know. Uh, <laughs> you might have lost, you know, your debit card or you might be, uh, you know, down and out on money or whatever. You go around brothers, man. Brothers going to look out for you. Or they supposed to. Yeah. You know? You never know what might come out of it, you know. But, but at the end of the day, you know... One of the reasons why I said that is because the the, the chip when it, when the chip come you ain't gonna be able to have you know this money you know the access to this you you supposed to be like yo I you know I wonder what you know the brother you know spend if the brother might need something you know spend that money man I want my bank account to be on zilch <laughs> well with all hell break loose man gone you know gone hey but you know don't worry about you know this money or if you you know you down and out. Hey, what, you know, the scriptures say, you know, if you got a wife, you know, whatever, you know, downtime you you, you got, you know, which it's really not your time. Yeah. You know, right. it's Yahweh Shemi al time. That's right. You know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be like, hey, well, Yahweh Shemi al come first, man. Yeah, that's right. Because the word leisure, because, you know, you have, uh, scriptures talk about on your lease. You know, if a brother uh, knows that scripture posted, you know, real quick, you know, because uh, uh, the word leisure, when you look it up, it, uh, it means to read, you know. That's what basically what it means. Layer means it means to read. So in your downtime, you should be reading, you should be studying. You know, you should be building yourself up. If you're a soldier, right? And uh, uh what, what does a soldier do? Or even cops, whatever. They go into the gun range or something like that. You know, they work. They doing they push up. They go into the gym and getting right, man. So if we soldiers for y'all watching y'all shy, he told us to, what armor to put on, how to put the armor on. You should be you should be sharpening those vessels, if you will. Strengthening those vessels that are going to make you a better soldier for the Lord. You know? And it's good to say that. Be, uh, be soldiers for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? God. Yep. Um, I got this for you because uh, you just uh, quoted it. You know, I don't know if a brother uh, brought it out or not. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Zephaniah uh, 1 verse uh, 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search 
Jerusalem with candles. <laughs> we just talked about that's the spirit. It says, and punish the men that are that are settled on their leaves. Right, right. What, what you said, Zephaniah what? 1 and 12. Yeah, let's look that word up. Later. Come on, man. Oh, Lord. Uh, These fucking phones. Give me one second. Come on. Come on. Salaki, like brother. You want to say something? No, no. No, I, I'm, I was going to repeat it again. Yo, con, con, con. Uh, it says, Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Yeah, they settled on their leaves. They just got they, they got their feet up, man. You know, this is not, you know, necessarily what I was hinting at. You know, but, uh, well, yeah, it said, oh, oh, no, actually, actually the word there is shamar. But it says leaves or dregs. Right? But also, too, the word uh, shamar also means what? To watch. Now, let's go into it. Yeah, to keep, to guard. Right? Now, let, let me go back because it says settled. Now, let's get that word settled there. All right? You just settled in on your watch. You, you ain't watching. You just, it says thicken, condense, settled. Because, you know, so it's... When something, when something's, when, when something is uh, uh, settled... Or it's condensed. It's heavy, meaning it's fat. It, 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 uh, Cause um, like for instance, cold air is condensed. Cold air drops. Hot air travels. It's, it's loose. It's it's, it's uh, more liquid form, so it, it travels. You know, but when something's condensed, it just drops. It's just it's just good. It's just oh, uh, that's pretty much like you know, just laid back. And, but you are you supposed to be up watching, you know. But on 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 your leads or on your watch, you're supposed to be active, man. You know, the scriptures tell you about that, man. You know, you got certain men on their watch, pretty much. They 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 basically slacking, all right? Because look, the scriptures are, are is liking the kingdom. And then, I, if I'm mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Yahweh Shai com compared the kingdom like a, a watch a watchtower, if I'm not mistaken. You know, and uh, uh, basically on a watchtower, you know, you're supposed to have men on guard, on post, always on the lookout. But then you got a man that's settled on his lookout, then the enemy's easy to approach, man. And that that be demons that uh, jump on brothers, then and then that will do what? It'll just spread to the rest of the camp. So you're supposed to be on your watch. And be, brothers got to be investigators too, man. Let me say that in the spirit, man. You can't just let shit fly, man. You got to be investigators, man. You can't just take shit for, for face value. A brother say, yo, you know, yeah, my bad, brother. I ain't mean to do this, that, and the third. Well, question that shit too. Like, why you did this, that, and the third? You could have did. You could have did. You could have did X, Y, and Z. Why you do A, B, and C? And then, man, that's just how it goes, man. You know, but it's okay for another brother to get all up in your business, man. If that man is over you. It's okay for him to get up in your business, man. Straight up and down, man. It's his job to get up in your business. All right. Certain things are off limits. I ain't talking about. You uh, how you pop your woman and no yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's you know <laughs> shit like that. But as far as like, okay, brother, why you ain't come to camp? Oh, I had to work. Okay, what time you get off of work, brother? Yeah, yeah, you ain't ask your boss. Can you get off? Are you is this the third third week straight, brother? You talking about your boss ain't let you off? What's going on, brother? Mm. You know, it's certain. Hey, man, it's, it's our duty. What's going on? And now you can't look at it from a perspective of why he, why he asked me questions. That brother might be able to help you. He might be experienced. You may yeah. be, you know, to be able to get you out of that scenario, okay? And that's vice versa. Brother ain't supposed to be all up in another brother's business just to be in his business. You get up in another man's business so you can help him out. Yeah. You know? Um, um, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus. Oh, shoot. Just, uh, Ecclesiasticus, because based off what you just said, uh, 32 and uh, verse 17, it says... Um, a sinful man yep. will not be reproved, but finds an excuse according to his will. Yeah, reproof is not always uh, um, cursing somebody out. Yeah. You know, it's not always comely neither. It's not always nice, but it's not always it's not always cursing somebody out neither. Yeah. You know, so when someone is being reproved, you being corrected, you, uh, making adjustments in your your life. Like for instance, it was one dude. It's spirit, yo. For some reason, these dudes keep coming up. The guys that was a part of the camp. One time, I called them up because I was like. I just don't want no fucker, no fuckery, man. Like one time, um, one time I, 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 you know, we was all together, whatever the case is, and you know, at the end, of, at the end, everybody breaking bread and chilling and all that, you know. 
it was time for brothers to go home. And we was leaving in a, a, like a dangerous neighborhood and mm -hmm. all that, right? And so we was like, yo, hold up, brother. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. He's like, nah, nah, brother. I'm about to be out. I'm about to be out. I'm about to be out. Nah, nah, brother. Don't leave. Don't leave. And he breaks out and shit. He opened the door. We're like, where the fuck he go? I felt like he ran to keep it all the way real, man. Right. You know? And then I, I hit him up. Like the next day or whatever. Kids like, yo, brother. Why you leave, brothers, man? Nah, brother. I'm saying why I had to do this, that, and the third. I'm saying, nah, but we don't leave, brothers, man. Nah, yeah, but I know you can and all that. Yeah, brother, this, that, and the third, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, nah, brother, don't fly that way, man. Yeah. And a lot of things, man, I'll say this in the spirit too. A lot of things are just traditions that we learn from the apostles and elders that we try to show to other brothers. Why? Because they have the experience. Now, when you get shown these tips and these hints and these pointers, it's supposed to be for the next brothers that come in after you. You think just because you can't 20 brothers, 30 brothers, that's it? You know, or say for instance, or say for you got seven, eight brothers, which that's more knitted together, right? Mm -hmm. You got seven, eight, nine brothers, and you trying to show brothers this, that, and the third. You trying to show brothers whatever you showing them because what you gonna have five more brothers gonna come in, and if you don't learn the proper tactics and the proper tradition, how the hell are you gonna teach it to the next five, five brothers that come into the camp? Yeah. You know, this ain't our program, man. Yeah. You know. I got a scripture. Yeah, come on, brother. <clears throat> um, I actually got two. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. This is uh First Corinthians six and uh two. It says, uh, "Do you know? Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world?" And that's what we, you know, the brother was saying. Be an investigator. You know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna judge the world. You know, um, it says, um, if Lord willing, if we are the elect, it says, um, and if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? You know, when you're going to the word uh, small, you know, a synonym for the word small is petite, you know, or, or, or petty, you know, something that may seem, may seem petty, you know, to another brother, maybe, a, you know, the, you, you quoted it, a low leaven, leaven if the whole lump, right. you know, you see a, a, a brother going off on something small, you know, you you able to, to, to sit up there and, and, and question him. You know, in righteousness, of course, you ain't going to just get on, like, literally everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? You go through with the, go with the spirit, you know? Yeah. And sometimes you're trying the spirit by the spirit. That's right. You know, to check and see if a brother on his uh, P's and Q's, you know, but I got another scripture. Yep. Um, this is uh, this is Joshua 24 and uh, 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, how about some y'all shy, right? Because you get on a, a brother... You know, yeah, and, and right. brother may think that that's wicked. Oh, yeah, I've been through that. Bring you to counsel. Yep. Yep. It says, that. If, if it seemed evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you, whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were up on the other side of the, of the flood. Yeah, because those gods are basically reckless. You could do what you want to do. Yeah. You know? you know, that's what the people in uh, Egypt was, you know. Yeah. You know, we, we we had it good in Egypt. Right. You know? Yep. Same concept. Yep. But that, you know, that's talking about uh, Ur the Chaldees. God. You know? It says, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Y'all by some y'all shot. That's right. That's right. Serving the Lord is being obedient, man. You know? Because the scripture says what? The, the rebellion is of the sin of witchcraft. All right, so when you go opposing to what the Lord told you to do via of a brother, you know, then you going off. All right? You got something else? No. I uh, real quick, Matthew 10 and 40, Baba Kosha, and we'll close Matthew on that. 40. Yep. Baba Kosha. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 10, uh, verse uh, 40. It says, uh, He that receives you receives me. And he that receives me, receives him that sent me. That's plain right there, man. Why? Because when a brother's saying something to you, you're supposed to recognize it as the Lord telling it to you, man. You know? Not not just, uh, I'm just, uh, this, uh, here he go again. Yeah. You know? Sometimes, I'm going to be real, sometimes brothers don't want to say something to you, but the Spirit is on him to say something to you. He know he's going to get jacked up if he don't say it to you. So you got to recognize that too. Yeah. You know? Hey, on that, uh, DMX, here we go again. DMX, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so, some of these guys be getting a lot of their uh, influence from uh, from these rappers and the, the people that's oh, in the world. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm saying? Rather than the influence of the, the apostles and the elders, you know, which are going to be the real celebrities, man. Right. You know? It says, uh, he that receives a prophet 
in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Yeah, come. That, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. I got a bunch of scriptures and brothers and lighten it up. You know, <laughs> God. Uh, I'll start from here. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. I, well, I'll start from here. This is uh, GMS Tampa Bay 07, Proverbs 12 and 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. That's right. And he'll be defended in the last days. That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, GMS Hawaii, uh, Yahawada, Shalom to you. Uh, uh, Hebrews 7, 13 and 17. Obey them that have the rule over you. And submit yourselves. And, and submit. That goes, you know, another word for submit is submission. Mm -hmm. Sub meaning under a mission, meaning mission, meaning you got to be under rule, man. You got to be ready to be told what to do. Okay? For them that are over you, right? For they watch for your souls. And I, I quoted that earlier. As they, they that must give account that they may do it with joy. That's right. You do it with joy, man. You don't do it to be a burden. You know, you don't do it to be a, a asshole to a brother. To, to, uh, the scripture says, add not to a soul that is vexed. We already got catch a hell in this world, man. Why would a, I, when I approach a brother, I don't want to make situate matters worse. I want to make the situation, make it a be make it better, man. Yeah. You know? Uh, some other ones. Oh, uh, GMS Tampa Bay 07. It says, uh, Galatians 5 and 13, for brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not our liberty for occasion to the flesh, but by the love, by but by love serve one another. Right, because we were given liberty. Why? Because if a man committed a transgression, we ain't trying to serve his head on a platter, if you will. Right. We ain't, we ain't looking for uh, 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 like for instance, if a man steal, right? Then uh, 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 you he don't got to pay double. You right. know, you just be like yo brother, just you know. Work on your shit. Get your shit right, brother. Mercy. Mercy. Yeah, yeah. And that's why you use it for the love of the uh, for the brotherhood. Cause maybe a brother got that's just an example. Maybe a brother got demons he's fucked he, yeah. that, that, he, that he's going through, man. Yeah. So you work with him, man. That's that's showing the love, man. But nevertheless, you don't use that liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, man. Okay. Now, uh, what was another one? That was good. Uh, uh, uh yep, yep. Oh, it went up too high. All right. Oh yeah, the next verse, verse fourteen. For all the laws fulfill in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So you want to be treated as another, as you would want to be treated if you were put in that same predicament. Okay? Right. Right. Yep. Yep. And that's all, that's all uh, the scriptures up there. Yep. Come Yep. Hey, well, you know, uh, the Lord called us into this truth, you know, to, to, to cleanse ourselves, you know, uh, to purify our minds, you know, to, 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 to be brothers, you know, to serve him, you know, and a part of serving him is, you know, uh, you know, loving one of your brothers, you know, loving your brothers, not one of your brothers, you know, but uh, <clears throat> having that love for the brotherhood, you know, uh, you doing your part uh, as a man of the Lord, you know, because just throwing up videos... You know, of course we do it, you know, but but you got to know why you're doing it, man. Yep. You know, you got to know why you're in this truth, man. You know, you, you sh I bet you, you sit up there, you ask some some guys, you know, like, hey, you know, you love the Lord. They, they be like, uh. Niggas in the world say that. Yeah, I love the Lord. Yeah. I love the Lord. Yeah. You know, that's, J that's natural for Jake to say that. Yeah. Man. You got you to gotta show it, man. You yeah. know, we, this is this is the real deal, man. You know? The scripture say, love, let, let us love not in word, but in deed. Yeah. You know? Couple more scriptures. Uh, GMS Baltimore is uh uh uh, uh Parya Shah Haraka. All right, that's other brother Sham y'all. It says uh Job thirty three, uh and fourteen. For the Most High speaketh once, yet twice, yet man perceiveth it not. That's right, because the Most High show you signs, and you gotta pick up on it, man. All right. Uh, GMS the Spirit of Prophecy says Romans twelve and ten. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business, 
okay? We're not slacking to, to tend into your flock, all right? Fervent in spirit, meaning being hot to it, quick hop, skip, and jump to it, man, okay? It says, so, uh, to serving the Lord, that's right. Leviticus 19.18, uh, thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the little children of thy people, right? Which that and translates today as the elect, mm -hmm. all right? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, I am Yahweh. And this is Sirach 33, 17. Consider that I labor not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. That's right. The scripture says the, uh, um, uh, the righteous study of the answer, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So when you learn things, you're learning things to spread. You know, the scripture says what? And um, Ephesians, I believe, is uh, 6 and 19 or 3 and 19. It says the love of Yahweh Shai is the passing of knowledge. This is tradition, Akim. You know, this is our tradition that was passed down from starting from Abba Bivens. Elder, Elder Yaikwab, you know, High Priest Ariyah, you know, King Masha, on down, man. All right? To, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, to the ne next man that's about to come, that's sincere, that's of the elect. All right? Yeah. It's tradition, man. We, we're teaching the same thing. Scripture says, let, let, let us speak the same thing. Yeah. You know, you can't have men on different pages and all that. Right. right. You know? You got right. something else? No, but say, man, this is it's easy, man. You know, it's not a, a, a overbearing simple. thing. It's simple. Yep. You know, don't 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 be simple. You know. Yeah, yeah. The scripture, the scripture says, uh, "A scorner seek of knowledge and, and find if it not, but the uh, uh, but a man a man of understanding to it's basically easy unto him, man. You know, I'll get it real quick. This is uh, we'll, I guess we'll close on this. This is uh, Proverbs chapter fourteen, right? Proverbs chapter fourteen. Verse 6, it says, uh, it says, a scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth, right? It says, easy unto a man that understands, right? Because the Most High is suffering with that man of understanding. And you, if you don't, if you don't feel like you don't have understanding, you better pray to the Lord that you have more understanding, man. All right? More discernment, essentially, because understanding, I can almost get, guarantee, I'll bet you dollars to donuts, that that word understanding is bayan. All right? Matter of fact, let's just look it up, you know, which means to discern, okay? Or well, sometimes it's even uh, Shammai, which means to him, to, to a man that listens, okay? Let's go back. Cancel. This is, uh, real quick, I guess we'll close on this. Proverbs 14, all right? 14 and 6. The word for understanding or and understand it is, yep, bayan, which means to discern. All right, to discern, understand, to consider, perceive, discern, man. All right, because a lot of cats' ears are still fat, man. Yeah. Like it said in Isaiah the sixth chapter. All right. Well, I guess we can close on that. Yeah, yeah, you know, God. you know, give, giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha. You know, Ba'ashim, Rahakwadash. You know, uh, double on saw apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, who taught us this knowledge and passed on this heavenly tradition. All right. And uh, shalom to you brothers out there on the comment board. You, you faithful brothers, you you uh, uh, you faithful laborers out there, man. All right, brothers that are thriving for perfection in this truth. All right, want to say uh, shalom and uh, y'all bashim y'all shah brak a thumb. Y'all bashim y'all shah brak a thumb. Shalom. The water for tuning in. Yup, yup. Shalom.